Hi again, everybody. I'm Smart Ed. It's time for another top tip. We have one of our field training specialists with us, Smart Certified, Jill Dahl, right here, and ready to talk about customizing of shapes. Right? Absolutely. All right, we're going to slide us up there, put the desktop down there, and go for it. So first what we're going to do is add a page. By adding a page, we're simply going to go down to the green plus sign. Now we're going to go to our Smart Tools, and we're going to select on our Shape Tool. Inside, we're going to select one of the shapes that is not customized, so I can show you how to create customized shapes. I'm going to select on this tool. I know it's selected by, it is gray. Then I'm going to go to my Properties tab. To access that, I can either choose on the Property tab Access icon or go down to the fourth tab, which is my Properties tab. If I'm not able to see what is in my Properties tab, I can simply X out. And now I'm going to go to my fill effect. And in here, I can fill that shape. And I'm going to fill it with my favorite color, purple. And then I'm going to select on my line style. Within my line style, I can change the color of my line. So I will go with pink. And I'm going to make it a little bit thicker. And then I'm going to go to my line style, use my drop down, and select what line style I would like. After I'm finished, if I want to save this for future use, I'm going to go to save tool properties and now it is going to save that inside and every time I draw that shape I'm going to have my pretty purple and the line style of pink. That is a weird looking rectangle or whatever that is there. All right so uh, let's try this again. We'll switch the images here and uh, let me see if I can do this. So we want to go to the shapes tool That's correct. and then uh, we have to pick one that's not our, our, someone has already played with this a little bit, but we'll select one that's not customized. Or, Well, now let me ask this. Can we customize one that's already customized? Absolutely. Right. You can well, override I'm, I'm gonna it. Live dangerously, and I'm going to customize that one right there. So I've selected that, and I know it's selected because it's gray. Correct. And I'm going to select the Properties tab that's on the Notebook toolbar at the top. You, do, you selected the one on the side tab. I'll select the one at the top. It comes down in the same spot. Absolutely. And I need to click the, uh, select the X here because it's in the way. So I'm going to go to Fill Effects, and I'm going to select Bright Blue, and I'm going to go to the Line Style, and I'll make it uh, this uh, teal color there. I'll make it thinner, and I'll make the Line Style uh, Morse code, dots and dashes. And then I select Save, you most it. important, right? It and is. now if I go back up here, I can see that it is the... Uh, color and uh, fill that I want. So if I come here, I think mine looks better than yours. How well, about that? I think mine looks better than oh, yours. Well, all right. Well, we can own. debate this. We don't need them to be a part of this debate, but uh, uh, yeah, okay. Well, you got dots, I got dots and dashes, so I don't know. I don't know what that means. Does that mean mine's worth more? Maybe. Okay. All right. Well, we'll figure it out. Thank you for the top tip. You're welcome. Thank you for customizing that. No problem. All right. That's today's top tip. I'm Smart Ed. And we'll see you again soon here on Smart Ed TV.